Okay, so this one, we are writing the equation in point slope form, okay? So I know it's going to look like y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. It says use the point on the right, okay? So I'm going to use this point right here. So I need to get, I need to be able to look at my picture, and I need to be able to get a slope. I'm going to have to count the slope, rise, over, run, and I'm going to have to name that ordered pair. And after I do that, I'll be able to plug those things into my equation. Now, at first glance, when I look at this graph, I can tell it is a line that is going negative. It's going downhill. So when I get done, I better get a negative for my slope. So I'm going to count this. I make a box. One, two, three. So I am going down three. So down three is negative. When you're going up, it's positive. Down, it's negative. Right is positive. Left is negative. So now I need to count the sideways. So now from this place, I went down three. One, two. And I'm going to the right, two. That's a positive two. So that means my slope rise is negative three halves, okay? Now, the next thing I need to be able to do is I need to be able to name the coordinates of this ordered pair. So when I look at this ordered pair, you guys, here it is over one up zero. So you know when you do your slope, you do the up and down, and then you do the right left? When you're naming an ordered pair, you do the right left, and then you do the up down. So sometimes people get confused with that. So now I'm going to plug that in there. This is the x1 and the y1. So I've got y minus 0 is equal to negative 3 halves, parentheses, x minus 1. All right, now, if I'm writing it in point slope form, it's okay to leave the minus 0 there. If I was writing in another form or I had to do something with it, I would not leave that there. 